Hi everyone, welcome to lecture 11 of biology 115 entitled meiosis. We're going to begin this lecture by just starting off by looking at an introductory flowchart and we'll entitle this first flowchart introduction 1. There will be two parts to this introduction. The first part of the introduction to meiosis is going to be looking at some key terms. Previously we looked at mitosis, and mitosis was the mitotic divisions that we looked at um, in those steps that we went through all throughout the previous couple of lecture videos. Those steps included things like interphase, which led to prophase, and then metaphase, and prometaphase, um, anaphase, telophase, things of that nature. We're still going to be looking at phases of cellular division, but this time when we're talking about the new process, which is now known as meiosis, the phases of cellular division will still be almost e exactly the same, but the end-all, be-all purpose is going to be different. And in order to understand this purpose of meiosis compared to mitosis, we have to understand some basic terms. And these terms include things like heredity. Heredity is an important term to understand because this is defined as, and we'll write this down, as the transmission of traits from one generation, so let's say from one gen to the next. That's all heredity is. It's passing down traits from one generation to the next generation. Another way to sort of encompass heredity or to talk about heredity is to refer to the term inheritance. We always hear that you know we inherited our mother's eyes or we inherited our father's hair. Things of that nature fall under this realm and this term of heredity. Inheritance and heredity are this idea of transmitting traits from one generation to the next. We're going to see how that ties into meiosis a little bit later. Moving forward, when we talk about heredity and meiosis, we also have to mention uh, what I consider the most important part of meiosis, the most important end goal, which is variation. Variation simply means, and it's exactly what you would think it means, it's the differences between individuals. So we'll just say differences between I and D for individuals. That's all variation is. But what's important to realize, especially in the context of meiosis, is how do we get variation? We get variation through the process of heredity, but then how do we get this transmission of traits? All of this is going to tie back into the idea of meiosis as we move further down the lecture. In addition, another term we should understand is the idea and study of genetics. The next couple of lecture videos are going to be devoted to genetics specifically, and uh, especially the next couple of topics in Biology 115. Genetics is simply known as the field that studies heredity. So we'll say the field that studies heredity. And we can sort of just uh, very, you know, very easily connect it to this idea of inheritance. When we're looking at inheritance patterns or when we're looking at hereditary traits, we're looking at this field of genetics um, in a much broader sense, let's say. And this is that field that we're going to be covering for the next couple of lecture videos and for the next couple of topics for General Biology 115. The last term that I want you to understand about meiosis is the idea of gametes. And it's very important to know what gametes um, are and what it specifically means. So gametes are specifically referred to as reproductive sex cells. Now, I want you to make sure you understand, I'm not talking about, and you might have heard of sex cells um, or sex chromosomes before, like the XX or XY chromosome. This would mean a girl. This would mean a boy. This is not what I'm talking about right now. What I'm talking about are specifically reproductive sex cells. These are things like sperm and egg in humans and many other uh, animals. These are reproductive sex cells that fall under the term of gametes. And specifically, what you should definitely understand about both sperm and egg is the idea that as reproductive sex cells, they're going to be important in the, uh, in the process of transmitting or they transmit genes from one generation to the next. Much like we said in the beginning when we defined what term? When we defined heredity. Transmission of traits from one generation to the next. Now we have a mode of transmission. 
And what I mean by a mode of transmission is simply a way that we can physiologically, biologically transmit and promote, let's say, things like variation by utilizing gametes, by utilizing the gametes present within us. And these are the reproductive sex cells that make us, that make up the human beings that we become. And it all starts at the connection of sperm plus egg, which is the fertilization event that we'll talk about a little bit later. So overall, in this first introductory video to meiosis, we understand that heredity is the, simply the transmission of traits from one generation to the next. We also can refer to this as the idea of inheritance, when we inherit traits from our mother or when we inherit physical traits from our father. These these things all add up and give us the idea of variation. We look different from our mother and we also look different from our father because we have variation between them. These are the differences between individuals that we see in a population of a species, let's say. And variation is very important and especially in terms of heredity because it all falls under this field of genetics that studies the variation patterns, that studies the inheritance patterns, and sees how heredity ties all of those together. And we, of course, cannot move any further through meiosis, which is specifically a process of cell division that involves the production of gametes. Gametes are going to be our end result of meiosis, but it's important to understand that what gametes really are. And they're simply reproductive sex cells. Reproductive sex cells include things like sperm and egg, and their overall goal is to transmit genes, transmit information from one generation to the next. That information will turn into this idea of inheritance and heredity and variation within that organism.